Welcome back to the Kentucky History Podcast. I'm your host, Jameson Cable, and we're going to continue our discussion with J.R. Van Hoos about Paintsville history. you got Johnson Central. Uh, where is it? Is it located like outside of Paintsville in, or like real close, or how is that? It's actually in city limits. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, it's along uh, what used to be old Highway 23 that, that went uh, through the business uh, part of, of Paintsville. It kind of, it bypasses the main part of downtown, but it's on a stretch of highway where a lot of the businesses are located. Uh, you know, we have all of our fast food chains and of course we have a Walmart and, mm-hmm. and things like that. So all, all along this, this stretch of road, I guess it's called like the business the business road business district or yeah the business district you know (laughs) it it bypasses downtown but it's where most of the businesses are located so johnson central is in city limits it's about i'd say it's probably a mile from paintsville high school so the Mm -hmm. two schools are very close yeah Uh, but but you know being a teacher here at johnson central we service uh, the kids of johnson county Uh, that is our enrollment paintsville uh, services the uh, the kids in city limits but the schools are, are, are very close to each other. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I assume that's the big rivalry as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, you know, Johnson Central was was created from uh, consolidation in 1968. Uh, 69 was its first school year. Uh, the schools that consolidated to make Johnson Central were Mead Memorial, uh, Flat Gap, Van Leer, and Oil Springs. And so four high schools, you know, consolidated to make, you know, this high school. And, and you know, our enrollment today is around 1,100 uh, students, uh, 9 through 12. Uh, Painesville is definitely a, a lot smaller. Uh, I think their enrollment, and they have 7 through 12 in the same building. Yeah. Uh, I, I think their enrollment's around 350, 400 uh, for that, uh, uh, for that uh, size, which is, you know, I mean, it's it's been that size, you know, even when I went to school there uh, and yeah. graduated from there. It's, it's not really grown it's not really gotten smaller it's kind mm-hmm. of stayed about the same size um which is good you know you, you always like to you know you like to see your alma mater you know exist and, and <laughs> yeah. not be forced to shut down and what and what's ironic you know i teach at johnson central now my sister is the principal at paintsville so you know there's still that you know that family connection yeah uh, with the school system and and uh, I, you know it's all in good fun uh you know some people take the the rivalry a bit too seriously <laughs> if you know what i mean, I mean yeah. all, it's, it's like we're all from the same place you know? yeah. so why does it have to be you know you go to you went to johnson central you went to paintsville yeah. you know it, it, we're from the same place yeah you're my neighbor now what's my yeah, exactly, yeah exactly i'm i'm paying my bills just like you are you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah. uh some people take it a little too seriously but for the most part the kids get along with each other you know they are very competitive in sports against each other but you know, off the field or off the court, uh, the kids get along, they hang out, they know each yeah. other. Um, I mean, you know, Johnson County is a small place. You know, we have just over 20,000 people, 25,000 yeah. people in the county, maybe. Uh, Paintsville, as far as the city, 4,500 people. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like you don't know everybody. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's a good chance you know a lot of people. Yeah. So, you know, as far as going to a different school and stuff like that, that stuff never mattered to me. Um, yeah. You know, but sometimes that rivalry gets out of control, man. man I, it gets you, rough. Buddy, listen, I, I've i been in it on both sides. I've, <laughs> I've been in arguments and fights, uh, you know, when I was at Paintsville and being a coach at Johnson Central, yeah. I had to break up yeah. a fight against Paintsville. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little weird. It's yeah. a little weird sometimes, but it's, well, it's, you know, it's still fun. My uh, one of my uh, yeah, you know, of course I've been to many high school basketball games. Um, being in high school, of course, you know, in Rock Castle and and all that. But the wildest high school game I've ever been to was definitely Perry County versus Hazard. Yeah, that's and, a big rival too. Yeah, it and, gets a little heated. It gets heated, yeah. and you know, and, and it's just like any other rivalry. Sometimes players go back and forth between schools. Uh, yeah, well, they've yeah. grown up uh, at uh-huh. a young age in one school system, and then by the time they're in high school, they're in another. Uh-huh. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it, same thing happens here, man. Basketball, <laughs> uh, basketball gets pretty intense, uh-huh. as you can imagine. But you know, when the two teams used to play in the Apple Bowl, yeah, uh, there were and, and a lot of people because Paintsville is an All A school and and Johnson Central were in Four A, 
you know, it, it wasn't always lopsided games. You know, Paintsville won their fair share, especially when I was in school. The 80s and 90s when Johnson Central was kind of struggling with the football program. Uh, Painesville, you know, won a few of those games. And now you look at both teams, they've won state ch- championships in each of their classes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would be nice to see that rivalry come back. But, uh, you know, I, I just – I just don't see it happening for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's one thing. Well, I mean, that's, that's about everywhere, I guess. Well, especially in a county that has enough for the, a county that has a city that's big enough to have its own school, like, you know, Rockcastle County, there's only Rockcastle County, Lincoln County, there's only Lincoln County, um, you know, Boyle County, you know, there's Boyle County and Danville, right. you know, big, good rivalry. Um, that's kind of the way, the big rivalry in Rockcastle County was always Clay County when I was in school, as far as basketball went. Um, however, Clay County's you know, two counties over, you know. Right. <laughs> the, the, uh, um, yeah, you know, it's kind of weird. Uh, it's it, this is really all I've known. You yeah. know, I, I grew up in Paintsville. Uh, you know, of course, I went to college, but my first teaching job was actually at Paintsville. I taught there for four years before I left and went to Pike County, uh, and was a head basketball coach at Phelps. Uh, and, you know, now I'm here at Johnson Central, but this is the only rivalry I've really known. And it was because I've, I've been a part of it on both sides now. So, yeah, you know, when you when you see it, sometimes you kind of feel bad for those those counties that just have, like, you know, like I said, like Lawrence County, yeah. just Lawrence County, you know, Boyd County has Boyd County and Ashland, but they also have like Raceland and Fairview, you know, they have there's different rivalries. And so, yeah, you're just kind of like, man, that that must that must kind of suck a little bit, to, you know. Like your rival is like two counties over. Yeah, they, they, you don't you don't like see them every day, and you just don't. I don't like those people. You know, yeah, they, you don't ever hardly see them unless you play. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, I, you know, when I was going to Paintsville, you know, we we grew up not liking Johnson Central, and it was because it's not because we didn't like those people. We just that was the that was one of our competitors. You know, we yeah. wanted to beat them and whatever. You know, and, and he, being here at Johnson Central, yeah, we we want to beat Paintsville. You know, whatever, <laughs> tennis, golf, everything, whatever. We, yeah, we, you just want to beat them. We can yeah. take we can take second to last, but as long as the one below you is, is yeah, Paintsville. exactly. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you know, if somebody else beats that school, hey, uh, we like that school. You know, so uh, yeah. it's that's the good part of, of having rivalries, man. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, you know everybody kind of gets along until they get on the field or get on mm-hmm. the court, and then it's you know. We want to we we want to win. We want to yep. beat you. We'll, we'll talk to you after and be friends with you after. But you right know, now. We're, only, we're going to compete. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as far as uh, like looking back at Paintsville, any any businesses, churches you can think of right off the top of your head that um, you know have been around just for you know years, hundreds of years, maybe even uh, you know there's the, being in Lincoln County. There's a lot of places that have just been i mean the churches especially it's you know 150 almost 200 years old um anything yeah, we similar have a, we have a lot of old churches that have, you know in name have been in paintsville or johnson county for a long time of course yeah um, that that never changes businesses you know i can remember being a little kid of course we lived in town you know when you went into town you know there were businesses in your downtown yeah. area uh, you know, once Walmart, places like that came in, you started to see your downtown areas uh, and those mom and pop businesses uh, go have, away. Have gone away, you yeah. know, and, and that's kind of sad. You hate to see that, but, you know, again, I understand Walmart's a corporation. They can charge cheaper prices, yeah. you know, and that's where I would shop too. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, a, it's an economic thing. I understand that. Uh, but you hate to see, uh, you know, those businesses that, your parents used to talk about or your grandparents used to talk about that are no longer existing uh, just because of, you know, economic reasons. And so a lot of the older things that we have here, our churches, uh, of course, our newspaper, mm-hmm. Faithful Herald has been around since I think 1902. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, the churches, uh, there, there are so many uh, in our county and our community uh, that have been around uh, as well. And, uh, it, yeah, it just, uh, you know, it's just like any other small town, man. You know, when the big corporations come in, uh, you know, we we have a, a, a chain, a furniture store chain that has come in and, and that, that had come in and shut down some of the uh, 
you know, smaller businesses. And now that chain is closing its store here in Paintsville. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, these, you know, we used to have a Kmart. Well, when Walmart came in, we got a super Walmart. Well, Kmart closed down. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's like these people have come in and now they're getting shut down as well. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, it's just kind of interesting to see how that takes place. Um, and, and you hate to see it for small towns because, you know, I like to travel and, and, you know, you like to see those antique stores or, or different downtown areas and, oh, hey, yeah, let's go in and check out that business. Uh, you know, let's, let's try to give them some of our money. Uh-huh. You like to help out those small businesses and, and hopefully that'll come back. I, I, you know, I don't know if it will, it's kind of hard to compete against those big, big chain stores. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's definitely something that, uh, I, I'm sure mayors and city councils are always fighting. Out. Yeah, how do how do we get our downtown revitalized? Yeah, and that's one. I was gonna say that's one thing that um, <laughs> you see a lot. I mean, or that I hear about a lot. You know, people trying to get the downtown going back up, up again, and you know, a lot of places you have bypasses now that you know just go right by the downtown, um, and that kind of just it's the way of I guess if you want to say the way of progress or however you want to label it. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I can remember when I was little. Uh, you know, sometimes you, the way to different places you went through downtowns. You yeah. know, there weren't bypasses. Uh, I, I can I, I can definitely remember that. Uh, I know when my parents were growing up, there weren't any uh, you know four lane roads for the most part, mm-hmm. or uh, you know like the Mountain Parkway was two lane for a, a, a lot of the way. You know, from Eastern Kentucky into Central Kentucky, and uh, you know, when those bypasses came through, you know, of course, businesses grow up along the bypasses. And so yeah. your fast food restaurants and things like that, even the mom and pop restaurants uh, that are located in towns uh, haven't been very successful just because of, you know, whatever you call it, uh, progress, uh, <laughs> if you call it that. Um, but yeah, I mean, some sometimes these small towns, they just kind of get left behind. Uh, yeah. People want to get uh, other places faster. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, a lot they, of people don't have time to go through these small towns anymore. They they want their hamburger and chicken nuggets quick. That's a, yeah, exactly. That's exa- <laughs> I mean, shoot, I like Chick Fil A too, man. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I you know I like that stuff too. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, I can I can remember being a little kid growing up in Paintsville. You know, we had a movie theater downtown. Uh, oh yeah, that from your house. Yeah. Uh, that place is, is no longer open. I mean, they, you know, somebody has bought it and renovated it and they occasionally, you know, have school plays and yeah. they will show some older movies from time to time. But as far as being a place that you would go to on Friday night or Saturday night to a movie, not happening. You, you know, you don't do that anymore. Yeah. Um, a lot of the shops that I remember being in town uh, that you could walk to and stuff, uh, you know, other than yeah. antique stores, you know, my wife and I will just get into our car and go to a restaurant somewhere else or mm-hmm. you know, just, uh, uh, yeah, I, it's just kind of sad to see, you know, you drive through downtown and you're like, oh man, I remember when that used to be <laughs> this something. store. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I never thought I would, see, you know, you know, you know, when you're younger, you hear your parents say that. Yeah. No, no, no. You know, you're like, what are you talking about now? I'm yeah, like, yeah. I remember when this used to be this place. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks in a small town. It, yeah, you know, it, it kind of goes away. You, you, you know, and I'm sure this is more my parents, but you got to be friends with those business owners. Sometimes they cut you deals uh-huh. you know, because they knew you or they knew your parents or whatever. Yeah. Or, you know what? It, uh, but uh, yeah, when you drive through towns now and you see those empty buildings, you just kind of wonder what used to be there. Or yeah, you remember what used to be in there. And, yeah. And, well, like uh, every every little small town used to have like a theater, oh, or, yeah. and like a rolling skating rink and yeah. all this stuff. Uh, you know, that, it used to be happening place built a place for billiards. You know, yeah. Well, you know, uh, you know, what you're talking about those times. You know, it, uh, a lot of people, you know, even back in the '50s and '60s, some people didn't have vehicles, and so you did what was in your your yeah. town, your area. Uh, sometimes you bummed rides with your friends into town and that's where you met your other friends and that's where you, you know, went and got a soda or something to eat and went to a movie and cruise town. You know, yeah. 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 You drove around town to see, you know, <laughs> see everybody. And, and, uh, that, that stuff doesn't, you know, it's, it's, 
it's not done anymore. Everybody's got a cell phone and yep. I can FaceTime my friend without leaving my house. I can play video games with my friend without mm-hmm. leaving my house, you know? So, uh, yeah, even though technology is supposedly bringing everybody closer, uh, at the same time, I, I don't know if that's, uh, necessarily the case. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of face to face conversations anymore. And, and, uh, you know, most people know the news before you do. And so yeah. you, know, you just text somebody what's going on. You don't wait for the, for the paper to come out every week or every other day or whatever. So well, it's, it's like, as it brings everybody closer from say around the world, you know, it kind of makes people farther apart from the people right next to them. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I can remember being a kid in my neighborhood, we would play, I mean, there used to be large games of not tag. We play tag at night. You know, we play bicycle tag. You know, you had to touch somebody's back tire with your front tire. I don't see kids doing that in my. In, I live in the same neighborhood. I, I yeah. never hardly see kids out at night anymore. Yeah. If you do, they're driving their own cars, or mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're just not. Uh, you don't see, you don't see kids playing pickup basketball anymore. Yeah. In the summers, that's all I did. I played against older guys on the blacktop court behind the elementary school. That court's not yeah. even there anymore. Yeah, you, know, you just don't, you just don't see things like that. But yeah. and, and I think a lot of it's technology. A lot of people uh, now they, a lot of kids they get their vehicles when they're 16, 17 years old. I, I didn't have that opportunity, and so <laughs> you know I kind of had to walk everywhere. But kids have more access to things, and mm-hmm. and they can do more things uh, from the comfort of their own house. I guess you know in in small towns that makes it hard for businesses to succeed. And, and so, yeah, I mean, you, it, it's, a, it's a struggle. It's a struggle sometimes. But, you know, I think Paintsville's done a good job, even though we don't have a lot of things going on in our downtown area right now. Uh, our, our mayor and city council works on bringing things in. We still have a lot of successful businesses uh, here in the community. And so, you know, it, it, in, in some respects, it, it, it's kind of sad because things aren't like your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, you know, at, at the same time, you know, you, you see uh, you see some of the good things that uh, some of these large businesses have brought into your community and, and, and you understand, you know, both sides of it. Yeah. Yeah. In the 1920s, you know, we in the 1920s, you know, the community didn't have a library. And so we Paintsville was actually part of what was known as the Pack Horse Library. Oh, yeah. Just, um, you know, that was women actually got out on horses and would deliver books to people uh, that were requested. And that actually grew uh, here in Paintsville. And because of the WPA, we actually got a, uh, a library building built uh, where people could come and check out oh, books. Oh, cool. Yeah. Things like that. And it's now, uh, well, it, it, it was the Paintsville Board of Education office building. The building still exists. Oh, cool. Yeah. Which, is, which is pretty neat. Uh, I don't, I know a lot of kids probably don't go to the library uh, anymore. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, that was big at the time uh, to have a system in place where people would deliver you books uh, yeah. that were requested. And then for a central location where you could go and actually check out books and, and things like that. That was, uh, that was a huge part, I, I think, in some of the early growth of Paintsville, especially in the 20s and 30s was this pack horse library and then the creation of uh, the Johnson County public library, uh, which is in Paintsville and, and is, is still around. You were talking about uh, businesses, uh, you know, the, the Johnson County public library is still in existence in, in Paintsville. And, you know, it, it's been here since uh, the buildings have been here since uh, the 1930s locations may have changed. You know, the, the library uh, is still in existence and it gives its creation, uh, got its creation from that pack horse library system uh, that was very prominent in Eastern Kentucky. It just wasn't in Paintsville. A lot of communities and in some of these counties where it was hard to travel had this pack horse uh, library system where, and it was, a lot of it was women, you know, they would get out and ride these horses and go to areas that were hard to access and, uh, you know, deliver books. uh, Yeah. Well, quality of education improve in Eastern Kentucky. Mm Mm-hmm. Brent, well, I'll plug a book because I, I've, read, I've read this book and it's really good. It's about the Pack Horse Library, um, but it's called The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. Mm-hmm. Um, really good book. I mean, it's fictional, but it's based around the main character works as a, as a um, Pack Horse Librarian and uh, it's, it's really good. So 
um, go check it out. It's on Audible too. If you, you know, I'm a, I'm an Audible, audiobook person. Um, yeah. So if if someone a yeah, listener I mean, wants to check that out, they can. Yeah, I've heard of that book. I mean, true and based on on a true a true system that existed in mm-hmm. Eastern Kentucky, which I, I think a lot of people don't know about. I mean, that's I think it's pretty neat when when you actually get into that and think about <laughs> man. I mean, you know, these women were you know rough trails and yeah, going up mountains, streams, even in the winter time, just yeah. to deliver books, to help educate people in eastern kentucky i mean mm-hmm. that's that's pretty awesome pretty that amazing. is pretty cool uh, and, and so did, you said it started in or i mean in paintsville or yeah we we were part of that pack horse library system and then that kind of grew because the demand for books became so yeah. great that there was actually a building built by the wpa uh in in the 1930s and then you know it just kind of grew from there our library man i'm telling you our library here in paintsville is awesome uh you know, we, we, I mean, I love to do research and stuff like that, but like microfilm and, and books mm-hmm. and uh, videos that you can check out and they have old school yearbooks. And I mean, it's just, oh, yeah. if, if you, if, if people ever want to research like their family in Johnson County, that you it's, got, you definitely have to come to the library and paint because yeah. you can find whatever you're looking for, I think. <laughs> well, it's one of those, uh, it's a super nerdy thing to say, man, but a good library is, is pretty awesome. Uh, uh, well, listen, you ain't tell me anything like people <laughs> used to make fun of me when I was in high school. You know, I was this huge basketball star. Yeah. Nothing, nothing brought me more peace than like on Saturday mornings, I would go to the library. It's nice and quiet. And that's where I would do research. I would do uh-huh. like family genealogy stuff, even, you know, when I was in high school. Yeah. And just a, it was just a nice place for me to chill and just kind of be on my own. And yeah. not, you know, not worry about you know, other things that were going on, I could just concentrate and, and do something I really enjoyed in mm-hmm. an awesome place. Got to be friends with a lot of the librarians there. One of them even lived behind me until she passed away uh, last year. But I mean, they were so helpful, you know, in, in anything that I needed and anything that I was looking for. And so, yeah, I mean, I was, I was one of those super nerds, man. I just, <laughs> I'd play, you know, I would, dominate on the court on Tuesday and Friday nights and then on Saturday morning I'd be at the library you know just like any other, any, any other I guess nerd or whatever you know, whatever people would say but yeah people used to be like why do you go to the library because that's that's where I just my mind is in a different place you know, yeah. it was, and so I yeah I can't say enough about our library here I, you yeah know, I still love going there Lincoln County has a really good really good library as well I I, I could go there I could easily go there and spend a few hours, but I usually oh, yeah. have my, well, I usually have my kids there with me, and uh, they can't handle it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I tell people all the time, uh, you know, now that I'm older, you know, I can definitely thank the ladies that worked in the library for showing me how to do research. You know, even when I went to college, yeah, you know, how to find things and uh, how to find things in different sources. You know. Mm-hmm newspapers and books and so I became familiar with doing research and so like you know when you go to college and you're doing papers and things and people are like well where do I find this and I I mean I'm like I know where to go like, <laughs> like special I'm gonna go to the special sections and find this and I'm gonna get on the microfilm and you know I don't even think people so I know my kids that I have in school they have no idea what a microfilm machine no, is. no 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 you know, no to, you know how to use one you know <laughs> I mean, I learned how to do all that when I was a younger kid. And so, uh, you know, now when I write, write different articles about former athletes or people from Paintsville, mm-hmm. it's kind of easy. I know where to go. I know where to start looking. And, you know, it, it's it, it's not as time consuming as some people think it is because, you know, you learn the skills and you're just like, I know how to get through this quick. Yeah. So, yeah. Does the, does the, does the Johnson County Library, does, or is it Paintsville or Johnson County? It's Johnson County Public Library, yes. Do, do they have a Kentucky room? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> that's where all of, like, the family history books yeah. of people, you know, like, from Johnson County, they're all in there, all the school yearbooks, the microfilm machines. Of course, you know, all the newspapers are on microfilm. And, and uh, yeah, we have a Kentucky room. I spend yeah. a lot of time in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's real cool. That's, yeah. that's, uh, I, I love that. I love that stuff, but that's I think that's where – 
you know, because I was spending so much time at the library as a young kid doing family genealogy, I think that's where I got my love of history from because yeah. it was like you would see all these books and you would be like, well, I didn't know that. And so you would start reading about something and yeah. your curiosity kind of just peaked. And so you wanted to know more. And it was usually about Kentucky, really. And so you start to learn a lot about your state, Eastern Kentucky. You learn about the families that settled here. And so you just build up this knowledge just out of curiosity of, you know, kind of what's around you and, and mm -hmm. you know, how you how you and, and other families got to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a it's a big reason to uh, get this podcast going. Is, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the well, history. I mean, that's that's yeah. what I got into. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I could play basketball too. I mean, I was perfectly content uh, learning about history. And mm -hmm. I mean, shoot, history was you know I was a liberal arts major in college just because I was like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something that I like. You know, I I did I studied history, and so I teach history now. So <laughs> you know, I've kind of made that. You know, I made that a career, which has yeah. been, been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, anything else? Unless you've got anything else, man, I think we've covered Paintsville pretty well. Well, uh, we'll wrap it up right here as far as Paintsville goes, which, of course, there's plenty of more you can always find and talk about. That's one thing. And we talk about learning about history. You know, you can de dive deeper and deeper into things and uh, go down the rabbit hole. And uh, we'll come, we'll come back, and we'll we'll talk more about Paintsville at some point. But you know, you got to talk about Van Leer and all those other places too. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, again, thanks for coming on. Um, uh, any, uh, I guess, tell everybody how they can connect to you on Twitter, all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, you can find me on Twitter, or Facebook. It's just Jr. Van Hoof. Um, since we talked the last time, uh, my my daughter and wife. Help me create a TikTok. I, I, still oh. don't know, I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm 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 kind of lost in the rabbit hole of videos that just pop up. So I'm just kinda, <laughs> I just watch videos now. Oh um, gosh, well I'm on I'm on TikTok as well. Jr. Van Hoos there, uh, and yeah. So I guess I, I guess I'm on TikTok so I can figure out what's popular. So maybe <laughs> I can relate to my students a little yeah. bit more. I, guess. I, I don't even know if it's you know if that's if that's right but i i watch a lot of dog videos and puppy videos on there for some reason <laughs> well yeah yeah we, we the 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 podcast has a tiktok uh, account too but i oh. have no i have no idea what to do at all I mean, well, my, my wife and daughter they that's how they kind of tell me i guess like what dances are popular i don't even i don't even dance so i don't, <laughs> well, I don't know why i need to know that but yeah, I've yeah. made a couple of videos. Um, uh, two of them have been of my animals. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, got, I don't <laughs> even know what I'm doing. It's something new. So why yeah. not try it and see what's, see what's going on? So, yeah, yeah, you can follow me on TikTok, too. You might yeah. not get anything yeah. out of it, but I'm on there. I'm on there as well. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> sounds good. Um, if there's nothing else, um, thanks again for coming on, and uh, we'll have you on again, hopefully soon. I appreciate it, man. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.